So I have my dough mixing blade on and I'm just going to add in three cups of flour, some salt, a little bit of olive oil, and we're going to mix it together while we're waiting for our um, yeast mixture to rise. There's one cup, two cups, and three cups. There's one teaspoon of salt, there's two teaspoons of salt. I'm also adding in one tablespoon of olive oil. Now I'm just going to put my lid on and secure it. And here I'll show you guys. I'm going to move this back a bit so you can see. And I'm just going to pulse this about five times. So now I'm just going to turn this on low. I'm just going to pour in my yeast mixture. Okay, so it's been seven minutes, and I'm just gonna take this out of here. I'm just going to take this and I'm going to put it into a bowl that's covered with oil, and then I'm gonna let it rise until it's doubled. I've never used anything like that before, and I'm honestly super impressed with how well that it mixed everything and how well the dough is. Um, yeah, I'm. Pretty excited to see how this is gonna turn out. So while the dough is rising, I'm just going to chop that down like that. This like this. And this like this. And then I'm just going to, I don't know how to show that without. Basically, I'm just going to cut it into slivers like this. Now I have the burner on medium heat and I'm just going to add a little drizzle of olive oil. And I'm gonna add roughly a tablespoon of butter and I'm just going to let this melt. And then I'm going to add in the onions and two tablespoons of water. I'm just gonna add these in. they're coated in the butter and oil. Now I'm going to add in some water. This is how they look after about 10 minutes. I keep adding water to the pan just to just enough to keep them moist so they don't dry out. I'm going to cook them probably for about another 5 to 10. So now I'm just going to add a little splash more of the water. I'm going to add just a tiny splash of balsamic vinegar. And then I'm going to add a pinch of sugar. Thank you. 
Now I'm just gonna add a little bit of garlic salt. And mix it around. And then we're gonna remove it, remove these from the pan. So now that I've punched this down and I've let it rest, I'm just going to um, put it onto a floured workspace and I am going to knead it for a few minutes. All right, so I've pressed my dough out after kneading it and I'm just going to put it into my pan. And now I'm just going to press it into the pan. I'm just gonna let this rise again for about half an hour to an hour. All right, so now that it's risen for about a half an hour, I'm just gonna take my, fing my wet fingers, they're wet, and I'm just going to put indents into the dough. So now I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of rosemary on here. Next I'm going to top it with some Kalamata olives. And then I'm going to top it with my onions. to drizzle this with some olive oil making sure to get into some of these nooks and crannies now I'm just going to add a little coarse salt on top And now we're going to place this in the oven uh, at 400 